Hello and welcome. Jonathan Branshaw here from the Meteorology Lab with this week's Meteorology Minute. And this week, I've delved into our archive, as well as my personal experience, to give you five tips on how, when you are public speaking, you can better engage your audience. I find it quite ironic that I speak for a living. I, I get flown all over the world and I present at conferences all over the place. But I was absolutely appalling at public speaking 11 years ago. I mean, I've got better as time gone, has gone by. But if you find it difficult, like so many of people who email us or speak to me at conferences or training sessions, if you're one of those people, I was there. I was awful, really awful. In fact, I presented once and a lady in the front row said, John, I didn't know what you were saying for about 15 seconds because I just didn't, I couldn't understand what you were talking about. Your words were coming out so fast. So this Meteorology Minute is for you if you want to start your presentation with authenticity, with passion, and you want to engage and connect with those listening to you. Let's have a look at five areas. The first tip, the first suggestion is to say thank you. Thank the person who's introduced you if you've been introduced by someone else. That's an easy mistake to make. It looks a bit strange if you just walk on and start speaking. But always thank the audience. You know, people haven't always chosen to come and see you or me speak. They might be at an event and you have been chosen by the organiser to speak. So thanking them for giving you the time, for them giving you an hour of their time for you to present to them is really, really important. So it's just courtesy. Thank the audience. I always try and find a similarity. Point number two, we've talking in these, I've spoken in these blogs before about how similarities connect people. Well, for example, I'm speaking in Ireland next week near Dublin. And my family used to have a photo shop in Ireland. And I found a picture of the outside of this shop from 1890. And I'll be using that next week because I'm evidently not Irish from my accent, but my family have connections to Ireland. And I wonder how you can highlight a similarity when you're speaking. Do you understand a bit about the um, professional activity your audience members work in, maybe the location you've been to on holiday. I mean, if you're speaking in France or America or, or Asia, generally you or someone you know will have been there. You can add a compliment and say, I understand what it's like to be working in your industry or it's a pleasure to be back here. So finding a similarity and if you can add a compliment in then great would be my second tip. The third one would be to manage expectations. I like to always say how long I'm going to speak for. It's like a, a commitment. It's, it's saying, I'm going to be here for about 25 minutes and this is what I'm going to speak about. So people have got an idea of, of, of how long you're going to be talking, but also what you intend to deliver. There's the old saying, tell them what you're going to deliver, deliver it and tell them you've delivered it. That may or may not be true, but certainly saying what you intend to do, the benefits for them and how long it's going to take I feel puts the audience at ease. They understand what you're going to do. You've set the scene and then you can go and deliver it. I find that works really well. Number four would be to invite them to come on the journey with you. I've spoken before in the video blogs about commitments and people being consistent with the commitments that you make. Two or three of the best sessions I've done, in my opinion, I've asked the audience to come on a journey with me. I've got 35 minutes. And I'm about to explore the fascinating science behind humans, humans interaction, about interpersonal communication. I've got 45 minutes. Do you want to come on the journey? Can I explain my, my massive um, amount of science that I've got to you? Yeah. And if you get them to say yes, are you interested? Yeah, great. Okay. You've got that verbal commitment from the audience that they're interested in your topic. They want to come on the journey. They've hopped onto the wagon with you and you're about to go onto your journey. With me, it's exploring our archive of research relating to interpersonal communication. But if it's a drier subject, if it's, it doesn't matter what the subject is. Once you've explained it and explained the benefits of the audience, asking them to commit to coming on the journey with you, I think has helped quite a lot. And I think there's psychological underpinning to that too. And finally, number five, using humour. Beware. Absolutely, psychology shows that when people are laughing and are happy in a good mood, they can say yes more, they can be cooperative, more cooperative, more generous actually. But be careful. Yes, I would encourage you to use humour. If it comes easy to you, if it's not naturally your style, then don't feel you have to change your style to the audience. But if you can use it, 
do, but be aware that your perception of funny might be different to those of the audience, especially if you're in a different culture or country. I've come up unstuck at least once, um, very embarrassingly, and uh, what I thought was hilarious, people just stared at me for 10 seconds. It was quite unnerving. There we are, five areas that I think you can use. Thank the audience, um, find a similarity between them and you, um, tell them what you're going to do and the benefits of, of what you're going to deliver to them. Ask them to come on a journey with you, get a, a commitment. Are you ready to start? Or should we go on the journey? And then finally, use humour if appropriate. I'll come back to probably how to finish a session at some point in the next few weeks in, this, in the Meetology Minutes. But I hope that gives you a few ideas on how you can present with authenticity and passion and power and really connect with those who you're interacting with when you're presenting in front of groups. I'll be back in a week's time and have a great week. I hope you've enjoyed this. Remember to share it with your friends on social media and colleagues if you think it's of use. And I'll be back in seven days with another Meetology Minute. Until then, have a great one. Cheers. Bye-bye.